the world becoming flesh. It's that mystery of incarnation. It's that sound, primordial sound, primordial sound becoming this world, becoming us. It's that humming that If you will, that residue of that hum is that what is the cellular structure is. You know, that, that hum, that continuous hum, that logos, the word becoming flesh. And it's not becoming flesh in point in time, like in the story of creation, but perpetually at all times. And this is what transcends the linearity of the story. It's not like it only happens at the beginning of the days when this world, this universe was created, or indeed when Mary, <coughs> Mary conceives, essentially receives that into her womb. But the womb of Mary here is essentially, is that universe where, as it were, absolute <coughs> places its most sacred sound, that which is the name of God itself, himself, whatever you want. It's obviously genderless. Is, this is where the limitation of the English grammar and language. <coughs> so this Word becoming flesh is literally, literally, this is the essence of Tantric science. It's the essence of Vedic science because all Vedic civilization is sonic. Sonic. It's all about sounds. Everything. It's all about sounds. Everything. It's just sound condensed in various degrees of frequency. From density of the frequency of the granite slab to that of air hmm? or ether. But it's all, all sound. This universe is a hum. A hum. I am. And that I amness reverberates throughout as the hum, where it is I and am. I and M, Aham, you see? So this is, this is the essence of the story beyond what the story then exemplifies. The incarnation and the annunciation already, already in that first, first act completely, completely encapsulates fullness of its story, fullness of its mystery. Fullness of its mystery. And this is why this is relevant. And this is why we recreate that story by a sheer act of cognition. So it's giving Christianity its true depth. It's going beyond the story. It's even going beneath all this what we have spoken about as stations of the cross, you see? Because world becoming flesh is a continuous affair. It's a continuous affair. And this is where I was astonished to, to see allusions of that in earlier Christian theologians. And you can find that, you can find that in crisp, clear tantric expositions, in the Upanishads. You can go into the Taoistic teaching, you can find it there. This, this word becoming flesh. So, in a way, this is where in the story, all characters are being reconciled, all characters are being reconciled. So, the, the Mary and Jesus and Mary Magdalene, all this is that hum. All this is the word of God. 
You see? Because it's the world that become flesh. And it is then through reconciliation of that original act of incarnation that the body of Christ needs to be sacrificed, crucified. Crucifixion here is symbolical. It is that the body, the flesh itself, need to be sanctified again for it to, for it to return to the original state of Ham. Make whatever you will out of it. 